Hey folks, this is Shets from North Penn High School, and I'm here to make math easy. I'm also here to help you with wiki assignment number three. And in that assignment, what I want you to do is, eventually, we're going to, I need you, to tell me the coordinates of those 12 dots. So first off, if you haven't printed out your wiki assignment, the Word document, please print that out now and put me on pause for a second until that gets printed out. Alright, now that you've printed out the Word document, I want you to take a scissors and cut these two small triangles apart. And here they are, and I also want you to do that with the 45, 45, 90 triangles. Cut these apart. Obviously, yours isn't going to be as big as my triangles here, but I'm just <coughs> using this for a demonstration. Now that you've cut your triangles apart, they should look identical to these and take them back to back. You can see, you can see both sides, the numbers, everything like that. You've taped them correct. Now I'm going to model with our 30, 60, 90 triangle. And there's two things you have to remember. You want to make sure that this is a radius. And we know that the radius comes from the center of the circle to the outside edge of the circle as well as this right angle needs to be on the x-axis. So, let's make this a radius. If you put your triangle like that, guess what? You've done it incorrectly. So, if we move that around, and as you can see, that right angle is not on the x-axis. So, let's flip it over and do this. Hey, there's that right angle is on the x-axis. That looks great. But look, we don't have a radius anymore. So what I need you to do is just slightly turn that triangle like this and notice there's a 30 degree angle. Our x, our uh, right angle is on the x-axis. Here's our radius. That looks beautiful. Now we gotta find the coordinates of that orange dot. This orange dot right here. Well, if you can see what's on our triangle, we've gone to the right, root 3 over 2, and we've gone 1 half unit high. So root 3 over 2 across the x-axis, 1 half unit high, that is our y coordinate. So, at the end of this, you are going to have these 12 orange dots right here, all 12 of these, you are going to have the coordinates for those. And guess what? I'm going to give you one hint. You see this 45, 45, 90 triangle? Four of those dots you will have to use for this triangle right here. Alright folks, good luck. I hope you enjoy it. Have a great day.